What's going on YouTube? Levi at Old Iron Off-Road here. Uh, coming at you today with a new video. Uh, we're actually gearing up to head out to uh, back to Teleco to finish exploring some of uh, the Cherokee National Forest. Last year, about this time, I believe, we were on the uh, Sitico Creek side of Teleco. And there's a ton of Forest Service roads and unimproved um, two tracks and just primitive camping. There's all kinds of really cool ex places to explore um, in the Telco area. So we are actually to the point where Yogi is finally built out and kitted out the way that we want him. Um, we have the Odyssey rooftop tent mounted. Uh, we had Randy at GRC blast out some custom roof rack mounts for the tent the idea with the roof rack and the tent was to keep it as low profile as possible um sometime back we fitted this thing out with some Renology um power we've got a 100 amp hour battery stashed down there we have a 700 watt inverter we've got a 50 watt dc to dc charger back there 50 watts of solar you can see it kind of tucked up in there towards the front but today We've just spent the day kind of going over everything that we've got packed, making sure what we need is in there. Um, and just, yeah, just checking things over. We will be heading out in the AM, try to get a pretty early start. We are going to go get some groceries and pack the Dometic and get some uh, stuff for the dry box and hit the road. It's Wednesday morning, um, about, 8.30, uh, gonna finish packing the rig. Got the uh, Dometic plugged into 110, had it pre-cooling last night. Uh, uh, finished packing up the truck and uh, hit the road. Uh, we got a little bit of rain right now. Um, we're supposed to have a few storms on and off throughout the weekend, but we're gonna make the best of it. Uh, we've been planning this trip for a while and I'm not gonna let a little bit of rain spoil the adventure. So uh, yeah, good times. So we're dealing with a little bit of rain still, and that's probably going to be a theme for at least part of the day today and maybe some more on Thursday. Um, like I said last night, we're actually headed to Walmart and we're going to stock up on groceries before we. on the road but before we uh, continue the journey so quick trip to Walmart stock up on groceries and we should be good to go are you excited so excited are you excited so excited I need a rain jacket I'm excited I have a rain jacket What is 
is wrong with you? Where are we parking? Here's. She goes for the fillets. Oh, <laughs> those are gross. So, I'm down. No, I don't want those. Ah, those little ones actually might cook well. Yeah. Is yeah, do, do that. Yeah, throw it down. We like your steak. <gasps> I didn't get any A1 sauce. And she's going to put A1 sauce on a fillet. Did you, you heard it. Tell, it. tell everybody what you're going to do. A1 sauce makes it better. You see what I have to live with. Um, I know that looks like a lot of junk, but I assure you there's some asparagus in there. What's right there? It's under the Oreos. There's some green peppers and some lettuce. Still raining. Almost there. Half mile hike. It's not terrible. A little, a little uh, more treacherous terrain than I expected, but it's not bad. So up's gonna suck because it's pretty steep. So be a mile in. Be a mile in by the time we get back. Do what?
half mile um half mile in half mile out but it's steep coming up back up um well over a thousand feet elevation change um so if you saw the footage though it was definitely worth the, worth the hike so and she's dying a little just get a wheelchair for your wife so yeah it's uh it's definitely steep coming back up but again well worth it Ogie, we are headed down uh, the forest service road we came in on we are actually going to uh, a little spur that i'd hoped would end up yielding some camping seems like every little forest service spur that we have came up on has been blocked off with water breaks or boulders or whatever um, so we're actually going to just uh, shag ass back down to the Cherahala Skyway and jump on River Road and see what we can come up with there. It's getting late. It is... What time is it? It's 4 o'clock. Yeah, it's 4 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so we're going to try to just get somewhere and even if it's a pay camp spot, whatever, just going to grab it and get the tent set up and get some food in our bellies. A shower. Shower. <laughs> shower and food in our bellies. home on the North River. I think we're going to take that one right there, number seven. It is a paid campsite, but it's clean. And I like it. And we have bathrooms. They do have bathrooms. And they actually have trash service too, so sometimes pay in for a campsite is worth it. What is the stub number? We should have it in there. So yeah, we're going to call this home for the night. Good morning. Good morning. 
You didn't see how long it took to boil on the last thing, obviously. What is, how do you get out? You must not be able to. Uh, was the lever up? Not much to it. I think this is kind of like what Anjanette stayed in in Cleanland's Cleanland's. Cleanland's down. down. I can't imagine your sister staying in something like this. She was freaking out a little bit. She had no electricity. Speaking of pooping in the woods. Donley cabin, pretty rad. On to the next stop. Tennessee side in the Cherokee National Forest. Um, once you pass McNabb uh, campgrounds and North River, so. North River campground, like the main pay campground. I wish we would have kept driving a little bit. We met a really cool dude last night. Super cool old guy. He was like 80 years old. Walked gave us 14 miles every day. Yeah, actually had walked to the Donnelly cabin and back this morning before we ever, ever got out of bed, which was actually eight miles. So props to that guy. Um, like I said, we were happy we stayed there, but if you keep on going past the North River Campground, there is tons of dispersed, really nice campsites just right off the side of the road. Um, there's some that are two spots. There's some that are single spots, but I mean, really nice camp spots like right on the, right on the river. So definitely worth driving down. I'm not 
sure what we're doing right now. We're actually just driving. We've hiked the Donnelly cabin. We're going to probably get, I mean, we're going to get into Wig Meadow. We're climbing a hill, boys. Um, we're going to end up into Wig Meadow. This is supposed to be a really nice area. Um, and then we're going to shoot across over into North Carolina, which is going to put us back kind of in my home, home turf. Um, close to Murphy and probably grab us a camp tree campsite for the night in North Carolina. She's digging at her boots. We have to stop and we have to get somewhere close soon because we gotta get our vegas. Oh yeah shit. Okay so food takes priority at this point. <laughs> We're having fajitas tonight, so we have got to get somewhere reasonably early enough to marinate chicken. We're at, uh, we're actually at 4,600 feet right now. So we're uh, climbing to the top of what's called Wig Meadow. There's a fire ring and a camp spot right there. So we may pop the uh, pop the old rooftop right there in camp, maybe, or we may bomb back down um, North River, or bomb back down, hit the sky. Actually, we're not too far from the Cherry Hall Skyway. So we could hit the skyway and uh, bomb back down to, I don't know, Susitico Creek or a different little area. Um, we'll make an executive decision after we scope out this amazing, what is I'm sure to be amazing, amazing view. It's a little foggy, but yeah, this is amazing. can barely see the mountains in the background over there through the fog like we're we're up there man this is beautiful I'm really upset that we can't camp here which I guess we could we could pack a tent in and camp but we don't have a tent to pack in but we don't have a tent to pack in tell them we don't have a tent to pack in <laughs> we don't have a tent to pack in we could pack because I would straight up sit by that firing and I would eat a Steak. Oh man, we got some fillets. Oh, it's a fajita night. Fajitas. Whatever. It's beautiful though. Man, crazy. Look at the clouds rolling. Like we're literally in the clouds. So get out. Get off your couch. If you're watching this, finish watching it, and then get off your couch. Even if you don't have a rooftop tent and a refrigerator and all the overlandy things, getting your two-wheel drive pickup, your Toyota 4Runner, your Ford Focus, and go as far as you can and see all the things. There are too many opportunities and too many missed experiences in life because we're couch bound. We're soggy, middle sectioned couch potatoes. Myself included, I'm guilty of it also. So get out and enjoy life while you can. See stuff. So as disheartened as we were to not be able to camp in the Wig Meadow, we've actually crossed over into North Carolina and found this pretty cool little campsite it's uh far enough back off of the main road that uh, anybody that comes through can't really see their truck um so hopefully it'll end up being a cool little site got yogi leveled up we're going to pull out the awning and uh get some chicken marinating for some fajitas yeah you can get out of the truck now I got 
set to room temperature. This is delicious. If you're ever on the fence about the DeWalt 20 volt or the yeah, DeWalt 20 volt like 12 inch chainsaw, do it. and want to come have some 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 fajitas with us you're more than welcome some chicken we got some peppers we got a can that i had to get creative with some <laughs> snips to cut open we got some maters and some guacamole we eat good out here and bone apple tip Take a second to show everybody our shower setup. It's a, it's one of those OD instant hot water setups. And I've actually kind of changed some stuff to better suit the rig. It comes with a, a D cell battery pack, and I've actually adapted it so that uh, it plugs into a 12 volt power outlet in the back of the, uh, the rig. But it's a pretty sweet little setup. Lid. You got a pump here that drops into this bucket when it's full of water and a shower wand which is here heat exchanger pump hot water you can imagine what happens from there so you get a you get a hot shower so that's uh what's well, gonna go down and i can't film that part no no it would just be weird so we're all showered and fresh clothes on, sitting under the awning, got a fire going, and uh, we, what time is it? 9.45. It is 9.45, and we are both beat, so we're going to sit here and unwind for a few, maybe snack on some Oreos, and I'm going to play the old mandolin. For a bit and i think we're gonna call it a night see you in the morning
Good morning. So, <laughs> it is Thursday. No, it's Saturday. <laughs> it is Saturday. It is not Thursday. It is Saturday, June the 5th. We are sitting here at our campsite in uh, Horseshoe Cove. Horse Cove? Horse Cove. You want to make it Horseshoe. I want to make it Horseshoe. It's Horse, Horse. Cove. Horse. We are some piece west of Robbinsville. <laughs> not too far from Robbinsville, setting outside of the Chioa question mark, reservoir. Um, really nice campsite. Uh, probably five miles north of us is an amazing overlook. It's called Maple Springs. Seriously, ridiculous view. Um, if you guys are in the area, I definitely, check, I definitely suggest that you guys check it out. Um, we have some family coming in today, so we kind of just got a, a paid campsite that you know, everybody could get their vehicles to and it wouldn't be too much drama, but uh, we, we really, really looked up into the site. It's, it's amazing if you're in the area. Stay here um, and definitely, definitely, definitely go check out the uh, Maple Springs Overlook. And it's it been a super quiet um, Yeah, it's super campsite. campsite. Super quiet. We were the only people here yesterday for a Six long time spots four four to six spots on the lower side and like three people were here yesterday on a friday um it's it's it's, it's a super everybody nice place. everybody was in bed by nine o'clock yeah besides yeah us. besides us we were up till 11 making um scottle cinnamon rolls because we like to eat so anyway like i said it was place was really too pretty not to share so i'm gonna give you guys the nickel tour i'm gonna attempt to put the drone up my wife makes fun of the way i say tour tour tour, tour tour we're gonna have I'm gonna give you a nickel tour if you think I say tour funny tour. I say tour. <laughs> leave a comment below um, but uh, yeah I'll give you the quick quick walk around to the site this place is super rad short little jaunt down the uh, down the hiking trail hiking trail it's like a 10 foot trail but i'm i'm a little out of shape and slightly overweight so a short trail is still a hiking trail just a short walk puts you on this beautiful river So we ended up uh, leaving the campsite and coming here to the uh, Joyce Kilmer Memorial Forest to see some of the, uh, probably the biggest standing trees on the eastern side of the United States. So uh, it should be pretty impressive.
It's uh, about a two mile hike. Pretty low key, not too aggressive, but yeah, that's my 85 year old grandmother, Mimay. It's a big tree. So we've uh, gone through the North River and Teleco, ended up in North Carolina and the Nantahala. A um, little disappointed as far as the forest service roads that we got into on the Teleco side or on the Cherokee National Forest. A lot of the <clears throat> other forest service roads were closed. And just looking around, it looks like a lot of them are seasonal close closings. Looks like maybe they open them up during hunting season. I'm not sure which is still a bummer because a lot of those look like they dead, end, dead ended into some really rad camping. But whatever, nonetheless, we made the best out of it and really got to enjoy some beautiful scenery and had a good time. Um, we're definitely looking forward to our next trip. Not sure where we're gonna go. We've got another trip coming up in September. In September. Um, we've got somebody coming with us and this kind of may be, uh, maybe a purpose trip i'm not going to give away too many details about it i'm because i'm not really sure as to the details but there may be some professional photography and maybe possibly an article for a magazine maybe i don't know like i said i'm not going to give too much away in case it doesn't happen but uh wherever we may try to keep that trip mild <clears throat> just to not beat on the vehicle that's going to be with us but definitely coming up soon before winter, we will be hitting the uh, Daniel Boone um, Byway and the Kentucky um, Adventure Trail. And I know there are some rough spots in it. So um, for you, those of you that don't know, Yogi is very capable. <clears throat> We've tested him out a couple of times on some pretty rough tracks and had good results. Um, he's heavy, but he's built to, built to do rock crawly things. So really looking forward to that um but yeah so i just wanted to give you guys a glimpse into this place and share it with you before we we called it a wrap um and i think with uh with that that's all we got i hope you guys like this video as always like and subscribe and enjoy <laughs>